What's going on guys, Boomerson here and welcome back to another video. Although the Battlefield 1 video is still out of course, I did drag myself away just to bring you a Rainbow Six Siege Monday video, which is this right now. So in today's video I didn't know what to talk about which topic to choose, so I decided to go for both topics and talk about two things today. The first thing I want to talk about is Blackbeard. Now Blackbeard was released back in May, and instantly from the first day he was available, we knew he was overpowered. I used him, first game I played, I literally got an ace, the first game I played as Blackbeard. And it was obvious that he was too powerful, so here we are, we think, oh, okay, you know, this guy's out, good thing that it's the season pass owners, first of all, where they get a week, maybe they'll patch up at the end of the week to make it useful for everybody else rather than super overpowered. But of course they didn't, so we thought that, okay, maybe we'll see a patch sometime before the next DLC, or even on that DLC. But again, nothing happened. So four months later, and he really hasn't changed at all. He's basically the exact same. He's one or two changes to weapons and that, um, but he is literally the exact same character that he was at his release. Now there is no number on how often he has picked his pick rate, it's called, uh, because he's a DLC character, so not everybody has access to him, so of course there's going to be times when nobody has access to him, so he's not going to get picked, so that doesn't really make it fair uh, in terms of pick rates for the website. So we really have no idea how often he's picked unless somebody can find me the stat, but I imagine that he's picked basically every single round except for those few rounds where nobody has access to him. Now, if you've never played this game or you've never used Blackbeard, you're probably wondering, well, why is he picked every round? He seems okay. Is he really that good? Yeah, he is, I definitely think, the best um, attacking operator and definitely the best one for killing. Maybe not the best one overall, but again, definitely the best one for killing. So the main reason for this, of course, is the fact that he has a shield that covers his whole head and a good part of about his shoulder height. Uh, so it's really hard to hit him in the head and get that instant shot. And there are times where you look directly at him and you think, you know what, I've got no hope here. His body is protected, his head is protected, there's nothing I can do. And you just accept fate as it comes. That really happens too often for my liking. I always feel like it should be an even playing ground where both people have a good chance of winning the gunfight. Combined with the fact that the amount of barricades there are on certain maps, you can just run up to those barricades, break through them, instantly see everywhere around you, and nobody can actually see you. And if you're good enough and you pick the right one, where there's nothing around you people can hide behind, then nobody can throw a C4 charge at you and get you. This does mean that you can basically act as a shield operator with an assault rifle going through a window, which is kind of the purpose of Blackbeard. So the question remains then, is should he be patched? Isn't he working exactly how he should be? Yeah, fair enough, but I do think he should be slightly altered. The one thing that I'd really like to see happen is that maybe if his shield can take less damage, meaning it takes 5, 7, 10 bullets rather than 30, uh, that way making it more of a temporary option than a permanent solution. A lot of time, regardless how many rounds you put into him, he's always going to be able to look at you quicker. So maybe if he has to think more tactically and thinks, okay, my shield can only take so many rounds, I'm going to have to do this differently rather than just going up and taking as many bullets as possible and getting a kill. I don't think it would work by making the shield defensive area smaller. This game is notorious for having terrible hitboxes, so I really don't think that's the solution. There'll be too many complaints, too many, but hang on, for me, it only hit the shield, not my head. Uh, so that's just not an option to go for, and I do think it'd be better just to make it so that the shield takes less damage. So now for the second point of this video, I want to talk about IQ. Now, I want to admit, first of all, I was kind of wrong about IQ. Uh, at the release of the game, she was pointless. Um, Post was not as common back then, Valkyrie of course wasn't in the game, and there really wasn't much reason to pick her because there's no real good use for her, a, a gadget. Um, you go up and play, you take out cameras, take out the jammers, electric boxes, but usually they're hidden and protected, so it made her entirely pointless. The guns were still good, and that was the only reason she was picked. But now that Pulse has had a couple of nerfs to him, I can't see past 9 meters, and now IQ is more powerful, there's so many times where, as IQ, you can see Pulse, but he can't see you. It's a good point to where I'm able to play the game, see what IQ is, either avoid him, or see if I can get him through a destructible wall or door. It's not an amazing technique, because you do usually have to get close enough to the door where he can see you, um, but often it works for actually knowing where he's going to be and knowing he's around. And the fact that Valkyrie is now more popular and nearly everybody has access to her, and the cameras are now better placed rather than where they were full, where everyone just stuck them in the hostage room. They stick them around corners and corridors and actually try and uh, get information in certain places. You kind of need IQ in order to see those and take them out. Sure, Thatcher will do the job as well, but he only has three EMP grenades and won't know exactly where the cameras are. 
Seeing as information is the key to winning in Realm Six Siege, knowing where your enemy is, knowing where they are, knowing who's there, uh, knowing certain ways to get to them, that is the absolute pinnacle um, of an advantage in this game. So by using IQ and taking out those cameras, it can even the playing field. She is still not a must pick by any regard, there are still so many better operators that you can go for and in fact anyone that really knows what they're looking for will find a Valkyrie's cameras anyway and can avoid pulse anyway um, but for standard players or people who have a certain playstyle where they need to get close to something she is actually a good option to go for and again her guns are still extremely good. But like I said, this recent nerf to Pulse and Valkyrie players now getting smarter means that she's actually gone from entirely useless to a more mediocre use character. I don't think she's any changes to her at all though. I would like to see her pistol have a uh, decrease in recoil because occasionally I do find that I feel like I'm shooting right at the enemy but the bullets seem to be going everywhere. I'd like to see that maybe changed um, or at least if something new happens where she can get a different pistol that has less recoil or is more usable. To be honest though, she's an operator that doesn't really need to be changed at all. She is fine the way she is um, so I don't think that's any change there needed to be done. Seeing as IQ has technically been buffed by all the region changes, it does make you think, when is the chunker going to get changed as well? To finish the video, I'm still thinking about a name change, I don't know what to go for, I've got a few ideas, one that I really like, you can actually see that name being in used in-game. I'll wait and see what happens, maybe I'll change, maybe I won't. Um, but until then guys, Blue Monsoon, out.